Bellies. I'm Tasha Monet, and I am back with another episode of Acts of Survival. So we are back with Acacia, Liberty, and Kiera. The last time, I believe they had a party, and their family and friends came to Solani to see them. There's some island locals showed up. Liberty's family, though, only her younger brother showed up, and I think that was something that really like bothered her. Um, Liberty is really angry today. Um, she's a high maintenance sim so you know she gets angry when things aren't you know like taken care of the way that she wants but i think part of that anger is also because she doesn't understand why her family um couldn't be bothered to come see her um, I'm not exactly certain if there's something going on with there, but we can definitely find that out. We will not be going to San Maishuno, though, because I have a bug in my game when I try and visit some apartments, like the door is missing, so I can't visit them. But we will try and, like, go out somewhere with our mom at some point, so we can just talk to her and find out what's going on. Ooh, Acacia. So it is afternoon. The ladies are actually doing their own little private yoga routines. Um, one, this helps them with their wellness skill because we definitely want to make sure that we get Kiera up to level six so that she can start doing the fingernail and toenails. Um, however, also just because I think all of the ladies practicing yoga and then doing meditation and things like that is just good for um, all the different feelings that they end up feeling inside because of the craziness that's in their lives. Okay. So they were just sitting there meditating and Acacia received a phone call from her mom and it says, hey honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your mommy dear you love her, can't you? So I think I'm going to have her go ahead and visit her mom um, in Willow Creek tomorrow because we do not have time for mom to come over now and we don't want to be like you know we can't hang out you know but it's nice talking to you mainly because like she lost her father and her mom is has you know been going through a tough time and acacia loves her mom and she'll get to see her grandma too so we're gonna say i'll visit you tomorrow and maybe we'll take the other two girls with us so that they can see where acacia grew up so we will be visiting mom, Aspenwood, tomorrow. Oh, great. Okay, then. I hope we see you, though. Yeah, you will see us. Hopefully, I don't forget, because y'all know how I be. I be forgetting, and then it just be over. Okay. So we are going to take all of the ladies to the spa now, so that we can go ahead and steal the spa's customers, because we need to do that. Let's go. Okay. So we are here at the spa. What I am going to attempt to do is see if we can get the ladies like stealing these little sections here. Yes, I'm gonna have her promote and tend to the massage chair. Um, Liberty, we're gonna try and steal a massage table. So obviously we don't own these things here we don't work here but we're going to do what we can to get customers so even at oh snap he's here let's oh she moved okay so let's promote and then tend okay so we got those two there we were able to do that oh and so she's talking to kiera not the mas <laughs> y'all the lady who technically tends this table she's getting a massage from kiera at her job sis don't you know she stole this she don't work here you know what we gonna let them do what they do um so let's see if we can get acacia not acacia trying to do this here sis are there any little meditation still okay so for acacia we'll have acacia somewhere leading meditation sessions um i wish that there was more room on these different areas here but i don't really see more not acacia getting in her robe so she can actually lead one right outside sorry sis your friends are hello okay here we go so let's go ahead and promote guided meditation and is it host yes 
and then we'll do public. Okay, so she can go ahead and do that. Let's check on the other ladies. Not her taking her table back. Okay, let's steal his table. I thought we were tending this table. You know what? Let's go. She got a massage room. Let's go ahead and give a Swedish massage to Lance. We're just going to be offering people massages at, um, the, sis, are you okay? Not her being stuck, Audrey, ma'am. Okay, so let's see here. I wanted her to just tend. Okay, so Audrey, you need to go because we need your table. And Kiera. Kiera, no ma'am, no ma'am. You better come here. Why do they not listen, girl? If you don't come tend this table here. And let's go check on... No ma'am. I hope we're gonna promote and we are going to host public is anybody coming to our little services I'm feeling like nobody's coming are we even making money I don't even know like what's going oh sir are you coming to our yes what is your name Angelo you better do that Absolutely. We're tending our massage table. Absolutely. Tending that chair. Yes, ladies. This is what I need you to do. We need to be doing this. We ain't making much money, though. That's what's throwing me. She has three participants, y'all. So let me tell you something. When we did this at the beach, we got a little bit of participants, but the way she's... The way she's getting more. And I'm going to have her do a little yoga class out here too. Sir, what is happening with you? He must be really zen or something like that. The way that she's still meditating in her customers. Not them not paying me. Excuse me. I know you fucking lying. If I don't get my money once I'm done doing this little meditation. Mm. Oh, not her being hurt. Wow. So, if you've been following along with this Let's Play, you know that Liberty's father, Maurice, um, he, he did some things that really messed up their family and he's asking if liberty wants to come hang out i don't know if he wants to explain himself i think what we'll do is we'll um leave the other two ladies here and have liberty go see her dad mainly because after what happened with the party um liberty is likely feeling a bit down because her mom and her other siblings didn't show up and maybe she just wants to see like what if you know there can be some reconciliation with her and her father now her and her father don't have a bad relationship but she hasn't really spoken to him in quite some time after he stepped out on the family and got another woman pregnant while her mom was pregnant with her youngest brother and so I'm going to send her over there to see, like, what he has to say, like, what's up, because I think right now she's just feeling very vulnerable, and things just aren't going right for her because of um, everything that's been going on and how she's been feeling. So we're going to go see what he has to say. So Liberty is at her dad's house her dad lives in Newcrest he is actually the owner of a grocery store here and right away when she came there was kind of like a bit of I guess I'll call it an argument but I'm gonna have them get out of the rain because she really didn't want to come inside for a couple of reasons but one her dad is living with his 
new girlfriend and I guess you can say his new family. His new girlfriend has a son named Ronan. It's not um, her father's son, but obviously because it's his girlfriend's son, um, they uh, live here too. And then she has a younger sister. Um, they got puppies. What? Okay. But she has a younger sister here, um, McKinley, who um, was the baby that her dad had when um, he cheated on her mom. And so I'm going to have her go ahead and apologize to her dad for how she came off when she first came. Not because she doesn't feel... Not him walking away... Sir, what? Okay, celebrities' family is straight trash, y'all. Like, I just, I don't comprehend this at all. I really don't. Um, I'm gonna have her go ahead and see if we can get her little sister to stop doing this. Because, girl, what in the, what in the. This is freaking crazy. Like, little girl, could you stop making a mess in his house? So, I had no idea that they had puppies. I think they have a dog or something here, and the dog had puppies, but the dog seems to be missing, y'all. Where is the... I just... Oh, I just saw it run, run by. So, this is a whole hot mess. Right, she came to her dad's place to possibly work on their relationship to kind of talk to him about like what happened with her mom. And he just, he, I just, I don't, I don't understand. And then dad is just out there. I don't know what he got to be angry about, like, sir. We came here for some fatherly advice and to mend our relationship and you out here being wild and you know what, but forget it, girl, let's go home because I can't, I just, I cannot. So it is morning time and Acacia is going to be visiting her mom today. She is currently making some, ma'am, hello. She's currently making some chocolate chip cookies to bring with her to her mom and grandma um i wouldn't necessarily i don't really know if she's actually even good at baking but she's gonna go ahead and try so anyway just something to bring to them so one of the things that i don't understand and maybe i am doing this wrong but the ladies are not necessarily making the money that i was hoping they were making and so i have an idea in my head um with little miss sam there's a such thing as having like a live-in business and i was wondering if possibly i turned their home into like a live-in gym but in the gym they're offering the services that they would usually provide um obviously they'll still go to the spa and things to do um everything else that they need to do but we need to start making some money and this is just not working so in the comments below let me know like what do you think of the idea of them turning their lot into like a live-in gym like some of this furniture and things like that we can put aside we can obviously lock our doors here so that like people don't come but like on the sides here possibly they can have something going on on this little deck here and then even here like they can put some of their furniture in um their inventory on the times when the gym is open and you know just like have people here doing things with them like yoga and everything like that I think that would definitely be something that's you hello ma'am who are you not her just walking in hello excuse me girl girl girl
If you don't get the hell out of my house. Not her coming in to get water. Like, this is not... And I was literally just over here talking about having a fucking gym in the house. And sis just coming in. I just... What in the audacity? The unmitigated gall of her. So, did she finish her? Oh, she finished her cookies. Perfect. Let's have her go ahead and put these in her inventory. Um, get everybody together. Then we're going to go to her mom's house. Um, so that we can go ahead and, you know, hang out, chill, love on each other and stuff like that. So we made it to the home that Acacia grew up in. She's here to visit her mom and her grandma. Um, she lost her dad in this home. Well, technically he didn't die in this home, but she did lose him. And, you know, she grew up here. Don't necessarily know where her mom and grandma are at this moment, but we'll find them. And she did bring cookies. So we're going to go ahead and put the... Oh, she's actually going to speak to her grandma. How cute. Um, hello? Ma'am, where are you going? Not having to talk to her outside in the rain. What in the... Okay, I hope to say excuse me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring everybody inside. We'll go ahead and have cookies together. I don't even know if her mom is here. But yeah, her mom is here. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that everybody goes ahead and get some cookies. Maybe they can sit here together in the... What is this? Dining room? Something? Yeah, I guess you would call this a dining room. Who is calling Kiera? Oh, Kiera called her little sister. That's cute. No, ma'am, Pam. Oh, I thought she was leaving. Okay. So, everyone is here. Um, I'm... I don't want to say I am Could guessing that. Yeah, I completely oh, forgot I was going to say. But I definitely want her to talk to her mom and things like that. So she's going to be telling her mom how, you know, she hasn't really been talking much to Isaac. And things have been a little out of whack and she doesn't necessarily know what it is that she is going to do and how like she's really been focused on like yoga and all of those things like that and she's just a bit scared that the things that her and Isaac used to do like they just aren't the same anymore and she doesn't know um how she's going to go about that transition in her life because so much of the things that have happened to her has involved Isaac and now she's at this part in her life where she's kind of drifting away from him she has a life outside of being with Isaac now and these things are just difficult for her to understand right now and it's not because you know she is um you know like just a little girl who doesn't understand anything i mean like she's a grown woman now but it, it's more or less like her just trying to figure out like what it is that she really wants to do and so she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna ask her mom for some love advice on like what does her mother think that she should do about the things that are going on with her and Isaac and her mom is really just on her like if you really want to know like what it is that you're going to do with Isaac in your relationship you should really like go and talk to him so her mom was basically just telling her that she needs to figure out what it is that she wants and then have that conversation with Isaac whether that is um you know heading over to his place or inviting him over to hers and just being like look we've gone through a lot together I know we were not on the same side of the issue when it came to 
um, the pregnancy and the baby that we did have, and that has caused a rift in our relationship, and not necessarily certain if we're still going in the same direction or not, but, like, I love you, and I know that you love me, but love is not enough like there needs to be more like mutual respect consideration okay okay liberty you and so i think for acacia what acacia is going to end up doing is she is going to um see what or really concentrate and think about what it is that she wants to do and she is going to not necessarily be like, look, this is the ultimatum. This is what needs to happen. But more or less her like telling Isaac, like, you know, like maybe we'll not her swinging through Liberty. I know you fucking lying. Y'all, why are my Sims like this? I just, oh Lord. But basically what I was trying to say is that she will probably like invite Isaac somewhere. Like maybe she'll invite him to stay um, with her and Sulani for a little bit so they can see if they really do want to continue on with their relationship or if they just need to call it quits. We'll see what it is that she decides. Um, or what they decide together. And we're actually going to go ahead and end this part here. Um, I thank you so, so much for joining me for another episode of Acts of Survival. Um, the ladies are not making money. So again, please let me know what you think about the live-in gym where they do their services out of their home. Well, outside of their home because we're not letting these people inside. Um, because we need to be making some money if we're ever going to get our shop. And um, again, thank you for being here. If you would like to see any of your yeah. Sims in my LP as a townie, make sure you upload them to the gallery with the hashtag TMTownies. As always, I'm sending positive vibes your way. I'm Tasha Monet. See you next time. Sometimes I feel like I done lost it And I don't even really know the cost yet But every time fear is on my mind You remind my soul that I'm free I know I can't go on my own You came so I wouldn't have to go it alone You took the long road so you could show me home Found love better than I've ever known So now I know that I can say You are exalted above everything on the earth that I've seen Cause I know that my dreams come alive And the love that you promised to me I'll keep singing your praise and you know I believe